morning, I'm Dr. BLT. Welcome to Psychologic Song Talks. Today we're addressing the subject of sucking the soul out of psychology. Now, logical positivism has brought many great discoveries to the field. But there has been a price, and the price has been a mechanomorphizing of the human spirit. And you just can't turn the human spirit into a machine and study it from that perspective. But there's some books I'd like to recommend for psychology students, for psychologists and scholars. If you want to be a part of the solution to rehumanizing the field, uh, the first book is this one. It's called Memory and Mind and Brain. What Dream in Imagery Reveals by Morton F. Reiser. And in this book, uh, Reiser kind of uh, introduces the idea that we don't have to make an artificial or arbitrary division between the neurobiological cognitive science of memory and the mind and the more mysterious, unconsciously driven emotionally motivated aspects of memory in the mind. And then, believe it or not, in the country of country, a journey to the roots of American music, Nicholas Dadoff. And uh, this, this book starts by um, dis discussing Jimmy Rogers, who is considered the, the pioneer of real, authentic country music kind of lost itself you know, through the process of the Nashville sound, but was rediscovered through the Bakersfield sound. And music can be key in the study of music and musical journeys that pilgrims have made. It can be crucial to identifying what we need to do as psychologists to get back to what is real and to rehumanize the field so we can be a part of the solution to sucking the soul out of psychology. And it's really pitiful to do that because you're treating humans as objects instead of what uh, Martin Buber described as the I-thou relationship and with which all of life is regarded as sacred. Because it is. It's something to be odd, not broken down into little pieces and studied as a machine.
recognize the current state of psychology, the prevailing view, as being pitiful. Pitiful in its sucking out of the soul, sucking out the soul of psychology. But uh, we don't have to leave you with no light at the end of the tunnel. That light can come from people like Morton F. Reiser. It can come from Nicholas Dada and exploration of the roots of country music. And it can, it can start with a little soul searching. So, psychology, it's time to draw upon Derrida, do some deconstructionism, once we've got everything torn down. In a non-revolutionary way, let's put it back together. I'm Dr. BLT, you've been listening to Psychologic Song Talks.